Hello, today we're going to use the Sketchbook Express app for iPad 2 to create a piece of pop art in the style of Romero Brito. If you look at the left hand side of the screen, you'll see one of Romero Brito's famous examples of pop art. He used bright colors. He used lots of hearts and flowers in his art. But most importantly, he used different kinds of line designs we've been talking about, like bumpy lines to create flowers, or diagonal lines to add interest. We're going to do something similar. <clears throat> let's go to the Sketchbook Express app for iPad 2 now, and let's get started. First, we're going to save what's ever on your screen by pressing the plus icon, and then pressing save. Let's repeat the name of each of the Sketchbook Express application icons before we get started. Gallery. Add new sketch. I for information. Undo arrow. Redo arrow. Brush editor. Draw styles. Free draw. Line tool. Rectangle tool. Circle tool. Symmetry. Text. Transform. Layers. Let's get started. When we look at our brush editors, let's use Magic Marker B, the magic marker on the second row right here to draw with. It gets thick and thin as you draw, and it's going to look great. We're going to start by selecting black as our first color to do some of the bold lines that create our design. The next thing I'm going to do is pinch my screen with two fingers. And when I pinch, I'm going to bring it down to about 90%. It doesn't have to be exactly on 90, but this will help you draw lines that go all the way to your edge. I'm going to begin by creating a bumpy line across the bottom that creates a set of hills. In Brito's art, he has the sun coming up with another bump, a curved line behind those hills. Make sure those lines touch. Make sure you don't leave any space in between the two lines. If you need to, you can always press undo arrow to go back. Now I'm going to create the rays of sunshine coming off of that sun. We could use our line tool. I'm going to select the straight line tool to help me get very straight lines. The great thing about the line tool is when you stretch it out, it shows you where your line's going to be before you let go. Make sure all of your lines touch the curve that makes your sun. That way we can use fill bucket. If you, don't, if you don't touch the curve that makes your sun with your straight lines, you won't be able to fill in each one of these areas. Let's add some hearts. Let's go back to using our free draw tool and add a couple of hearts in the sky. We just curve around with one line and then curve back around. Anytime you need to press undo and redo any of these lines, you're welcome to do that. Make sure your hearts are closed. And then, of course, there's one big centerpiece heart right in the middle. On that heart, there are some flowers that are made with bumpy lines. I'm going to try to do some of those on that center heart. and they have a little curve in the middle. I 
see some more of those little flowers down here on the ground. Let's try putting some flowers on the ground with simple bumpy lines. Just bumps around in a curve. I'm going to add in some dashes in some of these spaces. They look kind of like equal signs, but I see Brito has those in some of those areas. I'm going to wait to do the diagonals and the dots, but I see another section that has some loopy lines in it right at the top. And that's actually his signature. He did an R like this and then loops it again to be the B. So when we do those loopy lines, we're practicing signing his artwork. They may not all look the same. Just adding some loops to break up the space and make it interesting. Now let's use Fill Bucket to add some colors. Hello Fill Bucket. The Fill Bucket looks like a paint bucket and when you tap on it you can fill spaces with bright colors. I'm going to start with this very bright yellow. Now unfortunately when I tapped on one area to fill it, it filled everything. So let's go back we need to put a picture frame around this. That will close off all of our sections that are like rays of sunlight. I'm going to press undo arrow, go back, get my marker on black again, and select my rectangle tool. I'm going to start in one corner of my art and pull out a rectangle that goes all the way around the edges like a picture frame. And this will close off every part of my work. Let me try that again. I missed the top. I should be able to see the dotted lines on the edge of my work. Good. Now my border goes all the way around, so each one of those large angles of sunlight is going to be closed. Now let's try Fill Bucket. And I'm going to do a bright yellow just in that section. I'm going to go ahead and do yellow in two other sections and later I will turn those into stripes using diagonal lines like in the picture. Let's try some light blue. You're welcome to choose some different colors. I'm using Brito's Ideas Inspiration. You may add some more hearts in yours. I can't wait to see what yours looks like.
gonna go back to my marker tool and add some diagonals to give some of these hearts some interest and also in the background we can add some diagonals too I'm gonna zoom in on this heart that way I can be very careful about how I draw my diagonal lines I'm going to do the same in just one section of this heart. You could use your straight line tool also for these diagonals. Make sure you fill every spot in with color. I'm going to leave one white stripe in the background. Brito's work also has one bright white section. And I think that lets the all of the loopy lines that make his signature pop out. But it also lets you notice all those other bright colors because it gives you a little space to let your eyes rest. And the last thing I want to do is sign my name. I'm going to try to do it similar to Romare Brito's style. So in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to sign just my initials. M. W. When you're finished, please press plus and the blue word save. To export our work out to Sketchbook, we need to go to our gallery. That's the button in the top left-hand corner. Tap your work. You'll see a blue rectangle appear around it. Tap flower arrow to send it out to your photo library. Pick it straight up just like you drew it. Then go over to Shobi. Once you're in the Shobi app, you can upload directly from your photo library. Just tap on our class together. In this case, it's going to be 2016-17 Art 3 Carter. Tap on the folder Romero Brito. Use the plus to go to your photo library. You'll see all your photos. Tap on the picture you want to upload and press done.